you may have noticed a dramatic change in the weather. A couple of weeks ago we were roasting, now it's cooled down. It feels really refreshing. It's important we do the same with our minds. Minds running around, running around generates a lot of heat. So it's time to cool down. Just sit very, very still. Let the mind be very, very still. It doesn't have to go anywhere else. It has no other responsibilities right now. It just needs to feed off a sense of stillness, feed off a sense of ease. Gain its refreshment, gain its nourishment. If the mind doesn't have time out like this, it would be like an engine that didn't have any lubricant. You keep running and running and running, and finally it just seizes up of the heat. But the mind is can do a lot more damage than an engine seizing up. When everything is fried, when everything is burned out, you're not interested in anything about skillful or unskillful at all. All you do is you want to just do and say what you feel like doing and saying. And then that creates a lot of trouble. Think you do things you regret later down the line. That's why it's important to cool the mind off and then protect it. Protect it with a sense of shame and a sense of compunction. In other words, realizing you know, your actions really do have consequences, and you've got to be very careful. And that when you're in your right mind, there are a lot of things that you might say at other times. But when you're in your right mind, you realize, you realize you really wouldn't be ashamed to say those things. We'll try to keep that sense very strong. That's one of the things that protects you. The Buddha compares it to a wall around a a fortress, the moat, and an encircling road, all these things to protect the fortress. So inside the fortress you're cool. The, the walls are baked, the stone walls, and they're kept the coolness. So right now the mind can cool down, cool down. Then when it's refreshed, then it's in a in much better position to decide what to do or say or think. And you realize you can carry this sense of refreshment around with you all the time. So even when it gets hot outside, you can still stay cool inside. One of the John Fuang's students compared it to having an air-conditioned room. Even though Thailand can be hot, you can have your air-conditioned room. It can have lots of glass, you know what's going on outside, but you're cool in the room. That's where you want to be when you practice the Dharma. Have a cool spot inside, and that's where you stay. So if you've lost your cool spot, just settle down for a while. Don't pay any attention to any other considerations, any other thoughts that come in and say, you've got to think about this, you've got to worry about that, you've got to plan for this, not now. Let the mind have some time out for itself. <laughs>